will indefinitely hold off mutilisks. Another command center being put down, I really like that. And look at how many factories Jimpo actually has. He has one with the reactor, three with tech labs, so he's able to produce those Hellions double quick. And of course siege tanks and Thors uh three you know, three at a time. So very, very interesting play coming in from Jimpo. We just don't see that a lot. Meanwhile, these upgrades are about to be completed. And with those upgrades, these these vehicles are actually just so strong. Uh, doing a ton, a ton of damage, actually. Uh, 33 damage for that ground weapons. And 14 versus light, which is, of course, what these Metalisks are. These Hellions being chased away a little bit by those Metalisks. And the Metalisks are going to come in and they're going to spot them right there in the corner. And, oh, they're going to just destroy just destroy those hellions so this creep spread being stopped just a little bit as we saw a bit ago and a ton a ton of zerglings from stefano right now that is so many zerglings actually i'd like to see him get maybe a few more banelings banelings of course very good um actually against this composition i'm not sure what he should be doing probably taking up to hive and getting some sort of broodlords, as broodlords would do well against this, basically this entire army. Thors do shoot broodlords. Uh, Siege tanks obviously cannot shoot broodlords, but Thors can shoot them, just not very effectively. Uh, Thors basically very good at the light units, as we can see there. They do half as much damage against um, non-light units, and of course, broodlings or broodlords being armored, they do even less damage. So we do see that infestation pit coming down, and. Uh, vehicle plating level 2 coming down, so these units are going to have a ton of armor pretty soon. But we do see the infestation pit somewhere, right there's the infestation pit, and the roach warren coming down. So he might be taking up to hive, he might actually be getting infestors. Uh, Neural Parasite could be very good in this situation, just taking a hold of a bunch of those. Uh, Thors or maybe Siege Tanks, but we do see that Hive coming down and Terran Vehicle Weapons level 3 is being researched at this time So really really staying on top of those upgrades is Jimpo and not to be too left behind Zerg Ground Carapace level 2 is coming down right now for Stefano our Zerg buddy A little bit of an engagement there. Oh and some nice Banelings being put there I wonder if he's gonna actually get that and these missile turrets are probably gonna come up at some point and reveal these but Stefano selecting them just a little bit there. They're not going to do much against any sort of siege tanks. And he must know that these... Oh my goodness, this is such a weird... Whoa! Almost taking out one siege tank. And now as those missile turrets go up, they are taken out by these siege tanks. So some pretty ineffective. Had this been a giant bio ball, that would have been so, so awesome. Coming in from Stefano. But a little bit of harassment is going to come in here from these mutilists. Uh, a lot of Thors, so he's not going to want to go right here. That's actually seven Thors, and probably a couple more Thors being popped out right now. Actually, no, a couple Siege Tanks being popped out right now, but this Command Center hasn't been doing much uh, up till this point, but he did, was able to secure this third expansion, or his second expansion, rather, his third base in total. And now this command center might actually go down. A couple of siege tanks probably going to go down. Yep, these mutilists are just causing a little bit of havoc here. As in the meantime, there's a big push coming in. A lot of zerglings taking a ton of damage from those blue flame hellions. Look at how many zerglings are just at such little life. And now it looks like it's time for Jimpo to push in and do a ton of damage with these hellions in the front. Leading the charge against all these zerglings. The zerglings are just not going to have a lot of chance to really do anything. They're going to probably die immediately against all those blue flame hellions doing so so much damage to them uh, 28 damage actually against these zerglings not against the banelings as banelings are not light units but definitely against the zerglings Stefano is catching a few of those hellions as they try to rally into the battle with his mutilus being very that's one of the things you want to do with your mutilus as they are so 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 mobile and now it looks like it's time Jimpo is going to push in here that's a ton of Thors and a ton of hellions hellions in a nice spread so that so that any sort of zerglings cannot get a very good surround. And uh, it looks like Stefano is just going to sack this base. He does have, uh, let's, how many is that? Eight broodlords on the way. That's going to help immensely against this army. So he's just going to sack this base for now. And it looks like this base is also going to go down. These drones are 
are burrowed, but they're not going to have any sort of hatchery to bring any minerals home to very soon. And these mutilists trying to do a little bit of damage here on these rally paths. That's one of the things, like I said before, that you really, really want to be doing with your mutilists. And now it looks like he's time. He's going to be a big engagement. No, but Stefano just chooses to basically just take damage for absolutely nothing. And now these brutalists are going to come in and they're going to probably force a... I don't know who's going to actually win this battle. Those blue flame hellions in the side of the bait. Oh my goodness. The Baneling is going off and just not being able to kill these very, very upgraded Thors. 3-3 three, three Thors. Uh, oh no, sorry. 3-2 Thors. But still, it looks like these broodlings, Broodlords are going to be able to clean up a Broodlord morphing in, in the middle of the battle. That's something you don't see very often. Uh, of course, these Siege Shanks basically being nullified uh, against all of these Broodlords. And now it looks like these Missile Turrets are going to come in here. Uh, or the Broodlords are going to come in and take out all these Missile Turrets as they do outrange them. And the Broodlings are going to just be able to tear through. Look how, how quickly those Broodlings actually take out these Missile Turrets. It's quite crazy. And Jimbo's going to have a hard time reinforcing his, reinforcing his army. Uh, though he does have four, one, two, three, four, four factories with tech labs and two factories with reactors. So he's going to actually be able to reinforce his army very, very quickly. That very big, beefy army. And it looks like this command, this orbital command is not long for life, or at least it's going to have to lift up. It does lift up. And meanwhile, this expansion did go down. Those Hellions firing away at that, those extractors. Mutilus going to come in, try and clean up a couple of the of the SCVs and it looks like uh, Stefano is really just pushing forward with this mighty mighty army against this strong strong upgraded mech army from Jimpo these corruptors really just taking a lot of damage not actually doing anything a little bit of corruption there on the Thors so they take a little bit of extra damage from these broodlings and these zerglings and I'm not sure who's going to win. That is actually so much mech right now from Jimpo. And the Broodlords are getting lower and lower in numbers. They're going down one, slowly, slowly going down. He really needs to morph in some more Broodlords or get something in there to help this, help these Broodlords out. There's really no sort of support there for them. And now the Thor is just able to target them down individually. And it looks like Jimpo is going to be able to land this command center, its orbital command, back down and start mining from it once again. Uh, as this hatchery does go down for Stefano, uh, I'd like to see him probably take that that one. He'd have to take out these destructible rocks, of course, first. These drones long distance mining uh, for the time being. But it's going to be pretty, pretty hard for either one of these players to attack for just a little bit here. They're going to try and rebuild their armies. But actually, Jimpo, with a huge army, going to push forward through these destructible rocks. A very short distance in the center. And these Zergans coming in for a little bit of a counterattack. Getting a lot, of, a lot of SCVs as they're trying to do stuff. So. Target the Orbital Command. Come on, kill that. Nope. And it's forced Jimpo to actually turn his army around. Which is exactly what Stefano wanted. As he needs a little bit more time to build up. But he's just so, so low on money if we look at that he does have four brood lords and a handful of zerglings and a couple corruptors but i don't know if it's going to be able to i don't know if it's going to be able to hold off this very very strong push coming in here from jimpo and he has added in a couple of vikings into the mix to help against those brood lords queens are going to be able to do a lot of transfusing transfusing if they so choose as they have a ton a ton of energy and more and more vikings and hellions being brought into the battle i'm assuming a starport was switched with the reactor nope actually just two starports coming in and a big battle coming in right here queen's getting it right into the fray of the things they're going to probably be able to transfuse these broodlords that's the best thing that they could do at this point corruptors fighting against those vikings to try and keep the fire off of these broodlords but the thor is just targeting down the broodlords so so quickly and it looks like there is the well played from Stefano. So no GG. He doesn't think it was a good game, but he does think that Jimpo played it well. Probably hadn't seen a lot of this full mech army um, against Zerg. Uh, poor Stefano. I feel a little bit bad for him. Probably just hadn't had a lot of time to practice. He did do fairly well getting those Broodlords as they are something that you'd probably want to get against a big mech army like this. Uh, this game is from one of the recent Team Liquid Opens. Shout out to Plexa over there at TeamLiquid.net for posting this replay and all the other replays uh, that I've been using very recently. So uh, check me out on YouTube. Uh, my channel is youtube.com slash TV. And thank you guys so much for watching.